Lord Shri Krishna is so attractive for the living beings, especially for the devotees, that is that it is impossible for them to tolerate separation. The conditioned soul under the spell of illusory energy forgets the Lord. Otherwise, he cannot. The feeling of such separation cannot be described, but it can simply be imagined by devotees only. After his separation from Vrindavan and the innocent rural cowherd boys, girls, ladies and others, they all felt shock throughout their lives. And the separation of Radharani, the most beloved cowherd girl, is beyond expression. Once they met at Kurukshetra, during a solar eclipse and the feeling which was expressed by them is heartrending. There is of course a difference in the qualities of the transcendental devotees of the Lord but none of them who have ever contacted the Lord by direct communion or otherwise can leave him for a moment. That is the attitude of a pure devotee. Thus sense the Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada. So we are discussing the verse from the chapter Departure of Lord Krishna for Dwaraka. So this scenario is after the battlefield of Kurukshetra that the Pandavas are settled. Now the Yudhishthira is ruling the kingdom and Krishna now decides to go back to Dwaraka. So when he is Returning back to Dwaraka, how the devotees are feeling about the situation that is being described. How did devotees of Hastinapura, they felt when they come to know that Krishna is going back to Dwaraka. Krishna is going away from Hastinapura. And they are not able to imagine life without Krishna. The thought of being away from Krishna's association was so heart-rending. Here it is mentioned, Na sahire vimukhyanto, na sahire, they were unable to tolerate. Sahire means tolerate. Na sahire, they were unable to tolerate. Viraham from Sharira Dhanvannaha, from Lord Krishna who holds the conch in his hand. Viraha, Viraha means separation. Separation from Lord Krishna was so painful for the devotees and the, the devotees' names are mentioned here. Subhadra, Draupadi, Kunti, Virata, Tanaya, Dhritarashtra, Yuyutsu, and many Adayaha, there were so many of them. It was practically unbearable. And Srila Prabhupada mentions that for such a pure devotee, even a moment of separation is intolerable from the Lord. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu describes what is the feeling of a devotee in separation of the Lord. He says, Shunyaitam Jagat Sarvam Govinda Virahename. Shunyaitam Jagat Sarvam. Whole world looks empty, vacant. It makes no meaning to me. Nothing is interesting. Everything is disinteresting. And in another place, Prabhupada gives one beautiful example. Pandavas felt their fish out of the water. The moment they came to know that Lord Krishna is leaving to Dwaraka, they have to be away from the association of Krishna. Their situation was practically like fish out of the water. The moment you take the fish out of the water, the fish is undergoing a terrible experience. And you go to the fish and tell, 
please don't feel so much of uh, terrible experience we will give you some higher taste feast the fish is not going to be pacified you can tell don't worry probably will make you the prime minister of this country the fish is not going to be satisfied all that fish wants is water no matter you go on offer things after things one after other one after other they may be best in our idea it may be the best thing to possess but for fish only one thing can save the life and that is water nothing else in the whole world can satisfy the fish if you take out of the water in a similar way for devotees association of krishna is like water they just can't imagine the life without krishna many of us may wonder oh once in a week we come to temple we don't feel like this we are completely all right we don't have any problem we are we are not having any pain in our heart prabhupad mentions for a pure devotee this is intolerable so that means there is a stage in devotion there is a stage in loving relationship with krishna where even a moment of separation you cannot tolerate we are completely all right it is okay even if we do not think of krishna it is okay even if krishna is not there in our life but it is not okay for pure devotees because of their relationship with krishna exactly like the fish cannot imagine a life without water a devotee cannot imagine life without krishna in his life it is just going to be intolerable and there are so many examples that shrimad bhagavatam describes in order to uh, make us understand what is the relationship a pure devotee has with krishna and there is this example that once krishna was playing flute under the vamshi vata vamshi vata tatasthitah karshan venu swanair he was standing under the vamshi vata on the bank of the yamuna and he was playing on his flute and the devotees heard this flute sound and immediately their attraction to krishna was awakened they wanted to go and meet krishna and when they started coming to meet krishna some of the devotees the this gopis they were stopped by the family members they said you cannot go this is midnight how can you go you cannot go you are not allowed to go maybe they were not allowed to go because they had some duties at home some of them had to take care of the small baby some of them have to take care of the husband some of them had to take care of the parents for whatever reasons they were not allowed to go and meet it is mentioned in krishna book if you read some of them could not tolerate this that they were not allowed to be in the association of krishna they actually gave up their life they gave up their life on the spot can you imagine the kind of uh love they have that separation can cause even death for devotees that is the kind of pain the devotee experiences when they have to be away from krishna that is why chaitanya mahaprabhu has beautifully captured this mood he says shunyaitam idam sarvam entire world jagat sarvam shunyaitam jagat sarvam govinda virahena me if govinda is not there if i am away from govinda for me the whole world becomes useless i find no interest in this world i find no interest no meaning in this world this is the uh, consciousness of a pure devotee now what is the consciousness of a non devotee what is the consciousness of a materialistic devotee for him the very reason he has come to this material world which is which is actually devoid of krishna there is no govinda in this world for him all the interest is there in this world 
and when you tell such a you know non devotee materialistic person leave this material world they become very unhappy to hear this they have got so much interest in this world they got so much attachment to this world they've got all the desires in this world they can't think of leaving this world but for a devotee he has no interest in this world because there is no govinda there is no krishna the moment there is no krishna i have no interest in this world what do i do these are the two kinds of consciousness that we can see now we aspiring devotees when we read the shrimad bhagavatam it is mentioned so beautifully how these devotees the list of the devotees mentioned here how they have developed such a great intense feelings for krishna is it ever possible for people like us is it ever possible one day we also feel like this for lord krishna yes it is possible that is the whole goal of the human form of life this human form of life is given so that one day we also develop similar attraction to krishna we also experience the same kind of feelings in our heart and that is possible simply by following the procedure given to us by the acharyas shila rupa goswami who is greatest of the acharya he has mercifully given to us krishna consciousness with certain procedure and he describes how step by step we can develop this kind of attraction if somebody is interested developing this attraction that we find in shrimad bhagavatam that anybody can develop simply by following this procedures and what is that he describes this in nine stages he says that adho shraddha tatha sadhu sangha he says one has to if you are interested in developing love attraction for krishna then one has to go through these stages and the first stage is one has to have a preliminary desire to develop this that is called shraddha shraddha means a preliminary desire some desire in the heart yes i also want to develop attraction for krishna i also want to become a good devotee of krishna i also want to develop love for krishna this kind of a preliminary desire if it is there in your heart that means you have got shraddha you you, you have got a good beginning adho shraddha once you have such kind of a preliminary desire which is called shraddha then he says tatha sadhu sangha now you have to associate with people who have already developed such attraction in their heart there are people there are devotees who have already developed attraction for krishna much more than what i have and when i stay with them when i be with them when i associate with them then because of association with them the attraction in my heart will also increase attraction for krishna will also increase that is sadhu sangha adho shraddha tatha sadhu sangha and then he says there is one stage because of which we are unable to experience this kind of attraction for krishna chaitanya charitamrita it is mentioned that attraction to krishna love for krishna it is very naturally there in our heart it is not that something artificially we have to develop it is not that it is not there in my in me but i have to artificially develop no it is naturally there in the heart of every living entity he may experience he may not experience but it is already there krishna prema which is naturally there in the heart it is very natural for a living entity then why i am not able to experience it you are not able to experience it because something called anartha it is like uh you know if somebody gives you gulab jamun and you want to taste it but your tongue is covered with plastic if somebody covers our tongue uh, with plastic 
and then I give you gulab jamun to taste, then you will not be able to experience it. You will not be able to taste the gulab jamun. The reason is the plastic covering on our tongue is obstructing me. It is not allowing me to experience gulab jamun. Similar way, this anartha in the heart, they are covering our ability to experience love for Krishna. Otherwise, love for Krishna is naturally there in the heart. It is there in everybody's heart. But it is presently, right now, it is in the covered state by lust. The lust or anartha has covered our Krishna prema. That is why Rupa Goswami mentions, once you have shraddha and then you are fortunate to get sadhus and their association. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha. He says, Lava, Lava means a small amount, a very small, uh, you know, time calculation is called Lava. And how much is the time calculation? You take one needle and there is a lotus petal and you take a needle and you make one hole into that lotus petal. How much time it takes? The petal, it's so, you know, it's so delicate. It's so soft. In such a soft, delicate petal with a needle, sharp needle, it doesn't take much time to make a hole in that, right? You can just pierce it, it makes a hole. It's such a fraction of time. Such small fraction of time, if you can associate with sadhus. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha. Sarva Siddhi Hoya. Immediately, the, cap that the power of the Sadhu Sangha, that it can give you Siddhi, the perfection. What is the perfection? That attraction for Krishna, you will be able to achieve. Sarva Siddhi Hoya, Sarva Shastra Kaya. And this is the conclusion of all the Vedic literature. So he says, Adho Shraddha, Tata Sadhu Sangha. And now after Sadhu Sangha, he says, now you must begin something called Anartha Nivritti. Anartha means unwanted. Unwanted things are there in our heart, which are not allowing us to experience our love for Krishna. So that has to go away. That is called Anartha Nivritti. Nivritti means removing cleaning. How do you remove it? How do you clean it? Unwanted thing. Shravanadi Shuddha Chitta Karaye Udaya. Shri Kaviraj Goswami, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami says, there is only one way you can remove the dirty things from your heart. You see, there are so many advertisements and uh, they keep coming at the same that some advertisements say, Daag achche hai. You know, this uh, stains and uh, the dirty marks are very good. Don't worry. Why? Because we have a very powerful product with us. This product is so powerful that it can remove any stain. It can remove any that uh, dirt sitting on your cloths. Our product is so powerful. And some people will come and say, just put three drops our product. All and you know advertisements, they show how the child is rolling on the floor, all the mud is coming and sitting on the child's cloth and there, you know, the paint is coming and as much, practically nobody does that much uh, in day-to-day -day life. But in order to convince the people, the power of their product, they show that all possible stains on their cloth, painting, after uh, the child, you know, wipes the hands and the shirt, then next it goes and rolls on the floor. Then after that, uh, some grease and all possible. Then they come and show their product. Don't worry. Just put three drops of our product and wash your cloth and it will become completely new cloths. If there is such a product to clean our cloth, is there a product that can clean our heart? First of all, if somebody can see how many stains are there in our heart. We have no idea. We, we can only see how, how much dirty our cloths are. We don't know beyond that. 
you somebody can see the kind of stains and the dirt that is sitting on our heart that probably we will faint here it is said that devotees are fainting because they are unable to see krishna going away so probably we may faint when we see how much dirt is there in our heart because our heart is full of dirt that is why chaitanya mahaprabhu recommends cheto darpana marjanam we have to clean all this dirt and such a process is called anartha nivritti cleaning the dirty things from our heart is a third step in developing attraction for krishna the first step is preliminary desire second step is coming and associating with people who already developed attraction for krishna and the third step is start cleaning the heart and the first the first thing in cleaning the heart is that you have to get some product that is so powerful that is so capable of cleaning our heart so which is that product we can go on search and search and search after searching all the vedic literature after searching all the vedic literature kali santarana upanishads nath paratara upaya na paratara upaya after searching sarva vedeshu drushyate sarva vedeshu drushyate after searching and searching drushyate means searching after searching every nook and corner every page every line of the vedic literature you don't find a better product than this product what is this product it is chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare sarva vedeshu drushyate natha parataropaya sarva vedeshu drushyate this is the product that you get after searching all the things and what does this product do this product will completely clean your heart and not only it cleanses your heart and it does something more than that what does it do it is said ek krishna naam kare sarva paapanash what is the power of this product some product the material cloth washing product it says teen boond three drops enough but here krishna das kaviraj goswami says one drop is enough one 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 holy name ek krishna naam kare ek krishna one name of krishna if you are able to get in your life the power of krishna's name ek krishna naam kare sarva paapanash it is because of the papa sin in our heart we are not experiencing love for krishna krishna tells in the seventh chapter of bhagavad gita that uh, unless you clean your heart from all the sinful desires you don't experience attraction for me he says this esham tva antagatam papam jananam punya karmana esham tva antagatam papam anta means end antagata papam papa the sinful uh, you know desires the sinful tendencies in your heart antagata papam you have to eradicate you have to remove everything and engage in good activities put jananam punya karmana only in this way you can start getting attracted to krishna and how do i do this it is said that if you go on you know when you start cleaning your room we collect the dust in the dust pan and we put in the dust bin so every day at the end of the day you can see there is so much of garbage and dust collected in the dust bin that means we okay every day this much dust gets accumulated and some people come next day morning they collect all your garbage and dust and they take and they dump somewhere else and there is a place outskirts of bangalore if you go heaps and heaps of garbage and dust is dumped there full everywhere only dust is there if you start collecting the dust in your heart it is said that it can be much more taller than himalaya parvata 
it is much more taller than himalaya parvata that much dirty things sinful tendencies we have accumulated in our heart because it is not just one life it is not that this life from 1990 uh, from 1980 i have taken birth so from that much dust only is there no this dust is coming from life after life janma janma life after life this garbage we are protecting it in our heart generally people want to protect good things but somehow we protect all the dirty things in our heart and we carry this to the next life also next life next life next life there's so much of dirt and it is as tall in fact it is much taller than even the mountain the himalaya mountain so how do we clean so much when you go to shop you want to purchase some soap powder dish wash you'll say okay some two bars are enough to clean all the dirty things for a month but here the amount of dirt that is there in our heart we practically have no idea how how much we need to clean our heart but krishnadas kaviraj goswami says the product that kali santarana upanishad has recommended this hari naam hare krishna mantra is so powerful ek krishna naam kore sarva paapanash it can immediately destroy all the papa the sin that is there in our heart okay somebody may say oh that's very nice so it just cleans is it it just destroys the sin he says no that is only the side effect of krishna hare krishna mantra the side effect of hare krishna mantra is sarva papa nash then what is the main effect if the side effect is only so attractive for all of us if side side effect is only so big for us to believe then what is the main effect of hare krishna mantra what is the main effect any guess he says that this ek krishna naam premera karana premera karana karile bhakti prakasha he says that ek krishna naam kare sarva paapanash premera karana karile bhakti prakasha the same hare krishna mantra also becomes the cause of love for krishna in your heart the same product same hare krishna mantra becomes premera karana it becomes the cause for you to develop attraction love for krishna in this regard there is a very beautiful uh, instructive story which you already know each one of you know it's a very famous story once narada muni he is the spaceman he travels you know uh, upper planetary system lower planetary system everywhere he travels there is no uh, restriction for his travel so he was traveling once in the planet earth and he was passing through the jungle and when he was passing through the jungle he saw to his shock to his uh, you know utter shock there were so many animals half killed and they were suffering they were bleeding they were undergoing excruciating pain of death they were screaming out of the pain and being a devotee narada muni could not see this narada muni could not tolerate this you know as a devotee when you have a compassionate heart even if you are not a devotee normal uh, satvik person you can't see somebody getting killed and uh, half killed and blood is uh, you know flowing and all those things and being a such a compassionate a great uh, devotee of the lord narada muni couldn't tolerate this his heart started drenching his heart was melting then immediately he started looking around who is the cause of this then he saw that there was a man hiding behind the tree and he was very suspiciously looking at narada muni who is this man entering into my arena and then narada muni signaled him please come forward come forward then this man comes out with a bow and his arrow bow and arrow in his hand and fully dressed in a jungly manner narada muni says who are you he says 
ఐ ఎమ్ మృగారి ఐఎమ్ ది హంటర్ ఐఎమ్ ది ఎనిమీ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఆనిమల్స్ దెన్ నార్దమణి సేస్ ఆర్ యూ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ ఆల్ దిస్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ సీయింగ్ మృగారి వితౌట్ ఎనీ హెజిటేషన్ వితౌట్ ఎనీ గిల్ట్ వితౌట్ ఎనీ బ్యాడ్ ఫీలింగ్ ఇస్ ఎస్ ఐఎమ్ ద వన్ ఐ టేక్ ప్లెజర్ ఐ టేక్ హ్యాపీనెస్ seeing animals suffer and die like this i feel very very excited when i shoot an arrow and that animal gets hurt and it suffers and suffers and dies when i see that i feel excited i feel happy i feel very joyful just what he says to nardamuni and nardamuni says do you know you have to suffer for this and he says if at all you want to kill why don't you kill immediately so that they don't have to suffer and die like this he says no no you see it looks like you are a different kind of a person you don't know there is a different kind of enjoyment available it's a very different enjoy enjoyment when you see somebody suffer and die so this was the state of a consciousness the mrigari was and because you know he was talking to naradamuni hearing from nardamuni he is spending time the second thing sadhu sangha was happening so because of the sadhu sangha sadhu sangha sadhu sangha lava matra sadhu sangha sarva siddhi hoya now this mrigari got some siddhi anno it's a uh, unknowingly he is getting this blessings so his heart started changing transforming nardamuni started preaching to him he told him how this is not good then hunter told then what should i do he said you should not do this you should chant the holy name of the lord he said what are you speaking mr you are telling me to chant if i chant then who will take care of me and my family uh, it's very easy for uh, you know the devotees simply they go and tell everywhere chant krishna will take care what do you people know how will krishna take care of us i have to go and hunt and kill only then my family business will run then nardamuni said don't worry krishna has promised yogakshema vahamyaham i will take care of my devotees go throw this uh, bow break it sit at home sit in front of tulsi maharani and chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare and this samragari had faith in whatever narada has said because of association he developed shraddha and he said okay narada muni and he went back his home he told his uh, wife also he told his children and they s- brought tulsi maharani kept tulsi maharani and sat in front of tulsi maharani and started chanting and they started chanting the news spread everywhere hey this hunter mrigari the most sinful person has become devotee and is chanting hare krishna mantra and then everybody started coming and seeing this and when they are coming they started bringing some items to greet him and they're bringing some rice bringing somebody is bringing jaggery some people are bringing fruits somebody is bringing so many things and so much item is started getting he telling please somebody please tell naradamuni he told me that krishna will arrange but krishna is sending me so much i can't use this much little bit is enough and uh, so the days went on then after few days naradamuni with one more friend called parvata muni he was again uh, going nearby then he told parvata muni here i have one disciple and uh, if you don't mind can we please uh, meet my uh, one new disciple then parvata muni said who is your new disciple uh, parvata uh, narada muni said my new disciple is one hunter parvata muni said you make hunter also your disciple because you are a very ele- exalted personality right and such people they don't mix with anybody and everybody like this narada muni is known for this is extraordinary devotee he can make anybody into a devotee is a chintamani chintamani means anybody comes in contact with chintamani they also become gold they turn into gold so narada muni he said yeah he is a new devotee let's go and meet him and the news spreads that narada muni is coming to meet mrigari and mrigari comes to know oh now my guru my spiritual master narada muni is coming and now the hunter mrigari he has got krishna naam and this krishna naam he is chanting every day ek krishna naam kare 
द फर्स्ट थिंग दट हैपन टू मृगारी वॉज सर्व पाप नाश यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच सिन ही मस्ट हैव अक्यूमुलेटेड ब किलिंग सो मेनी एनिमल्स एवरी डे दैट वॉज इज बिजनेस killing 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 simply killing that means so much of sin he must have accumulated but by chanting hare krishna mantra as instructed by narada muni brugari had you know purified himself from all the sin that he had accumulated so ek krishna naam kore sarva paap nash then after that what happened to this brugari then he had this premera karana in his heart he had ex- started experiencing attraction for krishna he started experiencing love for krishna he was undergoing the satvika vikara it is called the ecstasy of krishna prema and the moment he hears narada muni is coming to visit me he immediately starts running to see narada muni and when he is running from the far distance narada muni and parvata muni they are watching oh this is the new disciple is coming but he is not coming walking properly and coming he is like almost hopping he is he is jumping he is walking is a irregular style then uh, uh, you know parvata muni says uh, is your disciple is has some problem to walk he said no wait wait let him come he will only explain why he is walking like this then when he comes narada muni ask my dear mrigari why are you walking like this he says uh, please forgive me my dear spiritual master when i was coming to meet you i saw there were so many ants and i was so worried if i stamp on the ant it may die i it may die so i was walking carefully sometime i was jumping sometime i was crossing in this way i was so careful not to hurt an ant this is called premera karana what is this that every living entity today brigari is able to see as a part and parcel of krishna and he doesn't want to hurt even an ant today the whole world is facing this problem the terrorism problem not only terrorism terrorism is one extreme where people bomb they destroy they kill on the other side people are so insensitive people just don't care whether whether you undergo pain whether you i hurt you or whatever it is and people have no idea what is the solution how do we make people who are so sensitive and here is an example simply by chanting hare krishna mantra even a person like the mrigari can develop so much of love for krishna premera karana that he can the practical application of love for krishna is that he becomes respectful sensitive even for an ant what to speak of human beings what to speak for even human beings even an ant i don't want to hurt this is the power of krishna prema in our heart the moment a devotee develops krishna prema in the heart he becomes so careful that he doesn't want to hurt even an ant many times in our family we have family members and sometimes we accuse our family members why my child is so insensitive why this child is insensitive to the parents why is he giving so much pain to the parents sometimes the children may be thinking why my parents are so insensitive to my life why are they giving me so much pain sometimes you know like this father mother brother sister this insensitivity in the heart is a result of lust anartha in the heart if you want to be sensitive then you need love in your heart the prema can melt our heart kama can make your heart hard it can become like a stone heart stone hearted people they are insensitive if the stone hearted people have to become sensitive there is only one way and that is you have to come in contact with holy name of krishna like mrigari 
you receive the holy name from spiritual master in the parampara like narada muni gave to mrigari and you chant day by day day by day you see in your day to day life in family life friend circle relatives country the whole world you will be so sensitive you will become so sensitive it is said vaishnava para dukha dukhi para dukha dukhi he sees other people in trouble he feels extremely painful that much sensitive you become only when you have love in your heart and how do i develop love in my heart only by chanting hare krishna mantra because that is a result of chanting ek krishna nama kare sarva papanash premera karana krishna nama is premera karana premera karana this is the only seed it is the only cause for prema in our heart especially in kali yuga because kaler dosha nidhe rajan kali yuga is full of problems among so many problems it is not easy to develop love in our heart so mrigari has developed love for krishna because he has developed love for krishna he is able to express love for krishna even to, even to such a small living entity like an ant by respecting it by not hurting an ant so when parvata muni sees such a drastic transformation in the heart of mrigari he just you know uh, i mean amazed he says my god what a transformation then he asked narada muni what is the cause the narada muni says this is the this is a result of chanting the holy name of the lord when you chant the holy name of the lord then all the anartha in the heart disappears that is why shrimad bhagavatam says shrunvatam svakatham krishna punya shravana kirtanah hrudayantastahi abhadrani vidunoti sahrutsatam shrunvatam if you are able to hear krishna krishna's holy name shrimad bhagavatam shrunvatam svakatham krishna punya shravana this shravana this hearing it is so auspicious it is so auspicious that hrudayantastahi abhadrani abhadra bhadra means auspicious abhadra means inauspicious all sinful tendencies in our heart they will all get vanished they disappear and when they disappear then what happens then there is a uh, krishna prema in your heart that rises that rises in your heart like a surya just like the sun rises in the sky like that krishna prema will rise in our heart and for this to happen we have to do first of all shraddha then sadhu sangha then anartha nivritti by engaging in devotional service by engaging devotional service there are nine types of devotional service shravanam kirtanam smaranam vishnu you know archanam vandanam sakhyam atmanivedanam pada sevanam like that there are nine devotional service if any one of you want to experience if you want to you know even get a glimpse of what it means to develop love for krishna the first and foremost is we have to chant krishna nama ek krishna nam kare this ek krishna nam that is hare krishna mantra this is the only krishna nam that hare krishna mantra by chanting and by associating with devotees it is not enough simply if you tell i sit at home i just do chanting is not enough you have to do sadhu sangha for that you have to come to temple you have to associate with other devotees sadhu means devotees you have to associate and after associating next you have to do practical devotional service if you don't do practical devotional service then it is not possible to do cleaning of our heart we have to figure out how can i do practical devotional service can i come to temple can i engage myself in some service or at home can i do some practical devotional service can i do book distribution there are so many practical devotional service 
without practical devotional service it only becomes theoretical one has to experience and engage himself or oneself in practical devotional service that is anartha nivritti sat and after anartha nivritti i mean you you engage yourself in bhajana kriya that is practical devotional service and then becomes anartha nivritti then what happens it is said nischaya then you develop determination then you become determined and then after that ruchi you start getting taste taste for krishna taste for chanting and then after that asakti the strong attachment to krishna will develop strong attachment no matter what difficulties come you will not give up krishna you will not give up devotional service at that stage and then it is said after asakti then bhava the the attraction the feelings the original feelings the pure feelings for krishna start manifesting in our heart and at last prema the prema the ultimate feeling for krishna that is love will start become uh, available for you to experience so this is called sadhana bhakti that rupa goswami has mentioned for all of us sadhana bhakti one has to go through all the stages aado shraddha tatha sadhu sanga bhajana kriya anartha nivritti nischaya and then comes ruchi asakti and then this uh, bhava and then prema and once you have prema then whatever prabhupada has mentioned in the purport you will not be able to live without krishna even for a moment even for a moment it appears like fish out of the water that day we should all desire that we reach that day will i be able to reach that day where my life appears fish out of the water without krishna just like chaitanya mahaprabhu said shunyayitam jagat sarvam govinda virahena me for me if govinda is not there the whole life becomes vacant i find no interest disinterested we have to pray to krishna that i reach that day that without you in my life everything becomes useless everything becomes meaningless i become disinterested krishna without you and there are so many examples of devotees like it is mentioned subhadra draupadi gandhari kunti how they were finding it so difficult when krishna is going away in fact prabhupad is mentioning in the purport that the devotees in vrindavan they were in utter shock when krishna left vrindavan practically they were like dead they didn't know how to handle that situation they were so much dependent on krishna they had no life other than krishna their whole life was krishna now krishna is not there they just have no idea what is their life going to be and they were unable to bear it when akrura was taking krishna away from vrindavan some of the gopis they went and they went and some of them st- stopping the horse of the chariot some of them are holding the uh the wheels of the chariot some of them are bitterly crying some of them are piteously crying some of them are pleading some of them are rec- some of them are saying akrura you are not akrura you are a krura krura means very cruel akrura means non cruel you are so cruel you are taking away krishna from our life how is it possible for us to live krishna Uh, without krishna so they were you know prabhupad says that is heart drenching life without krishna for devotee life is heart drenching in fact later prabhupad mentions when they met, when they met krishna in kurukshetra they requested krishna balaram to visit vrindavan once again and hundreds of kilometers the gopis the residents of vrindavan they personally pulled the chariot with their own hands hundreds of kilometers 
and they brought Krishna and Balaram back to Vrindavan. So this is how the devotees feel. And the same feelings, it is possible even for us. It is not that somebody experienced it. I don't know. No, you can experience. It is not for somebody. It is for us. Even for us, it is possible. And how it is possible? Ek Krishna Naam Kare. Simply take this holy name of Hare Krishna Mantra. And chant, chant and chant. Every day simply go on chanting. Japite, japite mantra. What happens? Karile, pagala. You become pagal. Pagal means mad. Not mad who is unfit for going for job. This madness you can still continue to go for job. Some of you may get uh, worried. Oh my God. If I chant I may become mad. Then I will lose my job. No. This madness is a different madness. You can do all your duties very nicely. You can go to job. You can go to college. You can do everything. And still you can experience this madness. What is that? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told to Ishwara Puri, Kiba Mantra Dila Goswami, my dear Goswami, Ishwara Puri, what kind of mantra you have given me? Kiba Mantra Dila, what kind of mantra you have given? Kiba Thara Bala, what is the power of this mantra? Bala, Bala means the power. Kiba Thara Bala. Why I am asking you? Because Japite Japite, whenever I am doing Japa, Japite Japite, repeat, chant, chant every day. Japite Japite mantra, Karile Pagala. I am simply becoming Pagal. This is the effect of chanting. And this madness is nothing but strong, intense attraction for Krishna. That is this, the meaning of Pagal, the madness. It is possible simply by chanting. So that is why Srila Prabhupada mercifully given this Hare Krishna mantra just like Narada Muni gave Hare Krishna mantra to Mrigari. Who are we? Are we different from Mrigari? We are also Mrigaris only. But we are not practically killing any animals but we are killing our own life. That is much more dangerous than killing animals. If Mrigari is killing some animals in the forest, it is one level of sinful activities. Shukadeva Goswami explains Parikshit Maharaj in 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, the most sinful activity is killing the Atma. Atmaha. Atma, Atmaha means killing your Atma by not uh, taking spiritual life. When you don't take spiritual life, when you don't take Krishna consciousness, it is called spiritual suicide. Suicide means killing yourself. That is called suicide. And when you kill yourself, it is very, very sinful. So we are worse than even Mrigari because we are doing spiritual suicide. So to save ourselves and become a good devotee, Srila Prabhupada, who is the representative of Narada Muni, who comes in the disciplic succession of Narada Muni, just like Narada Muni is extremely compassionate, Srila Prabhupada is extremely compassionate and he has picked up from the hellish life, like Narada Muni picked that, uh, that Murugari from a hellish life and gave the holy name. Otherwise, we don't even know what is holy name. We don't even deserve the holy name. So, Srila Prabhupada has given this holy name of Hare Krishna Mantra. We are very, very fortunate. And please, let us take this fortune every day by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare and experience the Prema, Krishna Prema without any doubt. And then one day in our life also, we will be able to relate what is this Subhadra, Gandhari, Kunti, Yuyutsu, Dhritarashtra, Matsya Tanaya, Virata Tanaya, they are all experiencing. So that, that day will not be very far if every day we chant Hare Krishna Mantra. With this, we will stop today. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Granthara Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Nithai Gaur Premanande Hari.